Good morning, happy Sunday. Hope you're all well. Hope you had a wonderful Christmas. Relaxing, not relaxed, whatever. Um, it's done. Christmas Day's been and gone, guys, and then we're gonna have the new year, which is because I said actually last time this is the last Tuesday of 2020 for my readings, but it's not because we still got next week. I clearly get mixed up with the amount of time between Christmas and New Year. Anyway, hope you all had a good one. Hope it was all fun. You know my thoughts on Christmas. I like autumn as my new festive New Year time. Anyway, let's see what's coming up for you. So this is a general tower reading, no fixed sign. Um, so whatever your sign, Virgo, Sag, Gemini, Libra, and whatever, um, and in whatever position, sun, moon, rising, uh, this is all for you. Uh, the keyword here, guys, is general. Uh, so this is surface level reading. It's not an in-depth reading, which will give you uh, details on what happens if you go this way or this way. That's what happens in a personal reading. Even a half an hour, we'll pick up on that. Um, but this is a general overview, surface level energy. Okay, that's the energy it's picking up on. So let's see, let's get started. Let's see what's coming up for you. Well, this is an amazing one to start off with. Um, you could have a Gemini coming in or you could be making a choice coming in at the bottom of the deck there, you've got the lovers. Uh, but at the moment, you are the sun. Two major arcana there. Uh, with you being the sun, this is amazing. You could be thinking, guys, of a brand new turning point uh, which uh, you're going to be heading in. You could start to be recognised for your work, um, as in like more people making inquiries, more people asking what you do, uh, more people pushing you in the right direction, saying you should do this, you should carry on with this, uh, because the energy is going almost like, like you know when you have a boat and the wind is in the sails and it's pushing the boat in the right direction? That's exactly what the sun energy is telling me today. Um, the sunflowers are so beautiful and they grow right up towards the sun. Um, so your potential is unlimited, guys. And if you're not doing it already, you, the potential in on a mind level um, and the way that you're thinking could start to be changing. When you're represented by the sun, this is a Leo energy, so you could be a Leo, um, but you don't have to be. You know, the, the, don't focus too much on the zodiacs, uh, but it's just showing a brand new transition, a brand new opening uh, with regards to how you're gonna start living your life and you're looking towards the sun rather than maybe towards the moon, which you could have done before, which is the moon's so beautiful, but it's our emotional side. We have a dark side of the moon, so we could have given into temptation. We could have allowed cycles to repeat themselves, that type of stuff. But it looks like there's been some sort of change. Um, and it just looks like that you're quite willing to start off, you know, learning something new maybe and not knowing everything all at once, okay? So that's a great position to be in. That's a really nice position to be in. So let's see from the outside influence what's coming up. Okay. Oh, okay. The hangman. Major arcana. The wounded healer. Now, two ways I'm going to look at this for you guys. Because remember what I said about a general. You know, I'm going to have to look at all options here. Um... This situation that you're walking walking towards, the situation that you feel really enthusiastic about, um, there could be delays with regards to you getting where you need to be, only because um, things haven't shown itself right at the moment um, for you to make any kind of objective decision, okay? This is the universe's way of putting a pause button on things, because it's so spiritual. Um, it's just, it's, actually, I feel it's probably one of the most spiritual cards of the whole deck, um, but it's almost like wait around and see what happens type thing okay um because you'll be glad that you didn't go all sort of um head head first and jump dive in and you know think oh i should have waited to do that okay the hangman is showing you a greater avenue uh but just wait uh, you know for it and to see how things are going to come up this could be you going off the job or waiting for a new contract or something like that and it's going to be coming in in due course just enjoy this energy at the moment and just know um that when you're represented by this energy whatever you're waiting for um isn't you know you're not in such a bad position yourself so maybe look at what you've got what you can give what you have um and just enjoy that and wait you know whilst you're waiting almost for the next phase uh the hangman um if this is a person uh this is somebody 
who's going through a spiritual transformation. They could have had a, an epiphany uh, themselves um, and they're just waiting to either wait to hear from you or they're just waiting for the right time to get in touch with you, okay? Um, hanging around, as it sounds. Uh, but the hangman is, because of that spiritual element, they could have just felt alone for quite a long time um, and now they're just really kind of assessing their own crap basically and thinking why have i been doing this why have i been doing that because with you being the sun they're going to sense uh that you're just getting on with things they're going to sense that you're not waiting around which could be what your turning point was you know i said about the cycles uh, about doing the same thing over and over again this could be exactly it uh, but if you're waiting for a result or a situation to manifest on the outside wait a bit longer guys but it's a spiritual waiting it's not anything to annoy you um and if this is a person you know keep doing what you're doing because they're thinking about uh you know getting in touch okay so let's see what else is coming up two major arcana though you and the outside influence amazing what is coming up what do you come up as because you have got it all going on with the ten of pentacles here look the sun the ten of pentacles what you're working towards is going to earn you some of them coins guys is this a brand new contract you're waiting on? Is this a new customer, client, whatever you, whatever field you're in? Uh, something is going to come in and give you that influx of coins, that money, that security, okay? doesn't mean like a million pounds, but what it does mean is that you're using your mind, your soul, your gifts to roll with the universe and what it has to offer for you um using basically your savvy um and it's going to get you to this ten of pentacles energy here okay so this is a wholesome fulfilling vibe and i don't know what's making me say this you could just bump into somebody that you haven't spoken to for a while it's funny how things turn out not like whilst you're draped in your diamonds because you've got all these coins coming in. Uh, but it's almost like when you're happier, you know, like the minute we pull away, the minute we draw our energy back and get on with our own stuff. The dynamics change energetically. Trust me when I say that. OK, um, if you do something without fear, if you think to yourself, do you know what? I don't know where this is going to take me, but I'm going to do it because I feel really excited about it. Uh, the universe is going to reward you for that. It's going to reward you, looks like, with some sort of spiritual development and with coins also. Underneath the future, you, <laughs> you are racing ahead, going after what you want. The swords of the mind. This is the Knight of Swords. The Sun, the Knight of Swords. You've got a good dynamic here. If this is a contract or a situation you're waiting for, home, job, whatever, um, it looks like it gives you what you need and you're able to move forwards. This is the fastest moving of nights, guys. So you're not like cautious. You're not being the Knight of Pentacles, which is the slowest moving because this horse isn't even walking ahead. He is galloping ahead. Alternative, alternatively, because of the position, I was going to say this could be an air sign getting in touch with you, uh, but the position shows this is your energy, so you could be getting in touch with other people, you could be networking, uh, you could be just doing you, okay, and being fearless with that. The sun is showing you that you it's okay to shine, and you will be moving forwards in such an organic, beautiful way. It's almost like a bull in a china shop, but in a beautiful way, letting everyone know you're there. Um, and people will start to notice you. This is what I said at the very beginning with the sun energy. You could start to get noticed a lot more. Let's see what else is coming in. I don't know if that was my shuffling, guys. I'm going to do it again. And if it comes out again, it comes out again. So let's see. Let's see what is coming up outside influence for the future. What is coming up to influence you in the future. Not influence you like you're influenced. Okay. <laughs> the only reason I'm laughing. By the way, with the page of swords, somebody could be coming in with an apology. Queen of Cups now. This is coming up as the outside influence. So from the hangman, we've got the Queen of Cups. So this has starts off 
silent and then it has a voice okay so this could be if, I, if i'm looking at, at this as a person like a situation relationship whatever uh this is somebody who's um quite defensive guys you know well you know you did this therefore this is why i did this you know the reason why i did this wasn't because i'm horrible it's because i had no other choice could be that type of vibe okay but i don't think you're going to care guys because you're not facing this energy you're doing you this person could just be stewing in their own kind of mind here being defensive being like they have like they have to have all the strength all the time no maybe that's what you're experiencing you know but their epiphany could show um that being the queen energy is a slightly more grown-up energy um and they could just own themselves a lot more with their mind okay but there is a defensive element here so if they do come in um and have that chit chat with you it could be you know acknowledging to a degree but not wholeheartedly they could apologize with the page of uh swords which is what i was seeing there but there could be but you know you know how that energy goes sometimes but you're not going to be bothered about that guys because the knight of swords and the sun you're you're too busy to focus on what this person has when i say got to offer is still quite absorbed it's a bit of a paradox that energy they are very aware they could be very intuitive and know their faults and know what they need to work on but at the same time on an external level they could show that they don't really care about these elements or don't really care about you and they're just doing their own thing anyway it's all a show don't believe don't 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 believe any of it they do have the feels on the inside okay but the knight of swords the sun with the ten of pentacles you're earning your own money you're earning your own kind of um status um you're finding yourself you're finding your own identity which is wonderful so whatever this person's doing don't get on with it so the queen of swords um if this isn't obviously a personal situation ship uh this is um a person and it would be somebody who's a very spiritual teacher also so this could be offering an offering of a job or it could be some sort of mentor that you have with regards to uh, this path that you're going down um with regards to a new job manager whatever or somebody you meet that could really teach you but this is a life lesson teacher there's also somebody who's woken up going oh then i had my business um all of a sudden and i didn't have to work for it it'd be somebody who's really had to go through their own crap in order to get to where they need to be which is really helping you which is why you're the knight and they come in with the queen from the same suit because they have similar experiences uh, to you and they could really really help you <sighs> look how this is turning out the future you ten of cups no, Hannah, the Nine of Cups. What am I about? Nine of Cups. Emotional fulfillment. So you've got emotional coinage fulfillment. And then you've got the uh, wish card, basically, which is different to a karmic wish, which is the star. This is emotional wish. From being the sun to being the Nine of Cups, honestly, this is so beautiful. This is like the universe giving you a hug, guys. And at the bottom of the deck there, you do have an offering with a page of cups coming in. So if you're waiting for a message, keep waiting. If it hasn't happened, it's going to come in, trust me. I can't believe this. This is beautiful. This is really, really beautiful. Uh, you end up happy. Sat there, all happy. Arms crossed. With those beautiful cups above him. Nine of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Your hard work is paying off, guys. Whether that be emotionally, spiritually, physically. You're in you're you're powering ahead in the right direction. So whatever you've wanted in 2020 looks like it's manifesting. I am gonna see. I do you know what? I see these cards at the bottom of the deck. Um six of cups there which is nostalgic so somebody could be thinking about you which is why i saw this card here uh which is why you somebody could be reaching out okay um and i don't think you've bothered with someone i really don't because why would you look at you all steams ahead doing you getting things done but that was i think that was my shuffling but i'm gonna um do another shuffle and see what is coming up for you guys 
Can I have an overall clarifier? Let's see what is coming in. Hmm. I I'm going to read these three. This is so strong. Four. Okay, I'm going to read these four as an overall clarifier. This is massive, guys. Um, the two majors is the devil and the wheel of fortune. So let things play out as they should, but also with the devil card, do not obsess. If this person does get in touch, don't obsess about what they're going to do next. Um, you're very, very attracted to this person. There's a lot of lust energy. There's a lot of chemistry. Um, but with the Wheel of Fortune, it will keep turning in the direction that it's always gone in. You know, and you asked about the moon going through cycles. Um, if you're not learning a lesson, it will still go through the same kind of thing until you learn it. However, such positive cards, I'm not worried about you're going to be doing it all over again. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is turning. This could be somebody reaching out to you because they still feel that pull towards you, okay? They still feel that energy they could be thinking about you so much you do not even realize because there's queen of swords energy coming up here that's all of this do you remember i said it's all about how things look on the outside you have no idea uh the devil can mean contracts also so if this is with regards to signing a contract oh let's see what that is let's see this is a new contract with regards to new business new clients whatever that is now this is where it gets a bit spicy because you've got the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands coming up here. Ace of Wands there and the Ace of Cups. Don't forget, guys, you've got the Nine of Cups, which, which is that emotional fulfillment, that emotional wish. With the Ace of Cups coming up here, um, this is that new phase with regards to your emotional self. So you could be investing all your energy into your new direction, which you love doing, which is just as good, you know, as anything else, because it's that emotional attachment, it's that emotional fulfillment, it's that emotional love, you moving towards the direction you're exactly going to go in. But I do feel there's a love energy coming in for you, okay? I just feel there is this either unfinished business or a brand new love coming in um and you've got the ace of wands which is a brand new phase with regards to your creativity there is a sexual energy guys coming in i can feel it it's not here right now right this second but there is a high chemistry coming in um the devil with the ace of wands you're going to meet somebody that either sweeps you off your feet um or you are going to have that you know that whole six of cups energy uh that nostalgic energy that comes in it comes back in again so be mindful this could be a little spiritual test for you uh to see where your mind goes and where other things go um but it's just finding out where that's going to go for you okay but this is good. I do feel if you're single, you're going to be in a relationship very, very soon. Um, if not, if you know somebody who you like, it looks like it's going to be coming back in. And the energy, guys, spicy. Spicy potatoes is what I want to say. Um, and the um, on a career level, this is awesome. This is really, really good um, because you're moving in the right direction. Uh, you've got the right spiritual teachers coming in for you with the hangman and the queen of swords. They show you the right direction. They can't tell you what to do, but they can show you um, and how you make those choices. It's all about free will. It's all about your own energy, your own path. But the fact that you're being represented by the sun keeps shining. And I think actually, guys, that's going to be the title of my video. Um, so much going on. Four clarifiers for six cards. That's, that's, you know, that's still surface level, guys. I'm not going deep, deep into this. And I'm going to, actually, I'm going to stop picking cards because I'm going to be here all day. So, uh, you take care. Have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. Enjoy whatever you're doing. I think it's a bit sunnier out there today. Um, so, just go and get some fresh air. Know that all this energy is going to start to pump in. Um, and the Wheel of Fortune is just going to turn around and round and round as it should bringing you all these exciting new opportunities but congratulate yourself also for allowing your energy to go into the right direction you're clearly making the right decisions about something so i shall leave it there uh tuesday evening will be on as normal you take care have a beautiful one and i will speak to you very 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 soon and i'll see you in the next video take care